Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in today's video, we're finally going to take on the last EX stage of the Trial of the Firestorm. And so uh, hopefully this will help you along if you are having any struggles with the stage. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So we're going to start off the uh, first wave with a full AF. That way we can set up ever, all our buffs and debuffs. Remember that we can have the large uh, regen with Aisha. We have fire zones set up. We do have uh, 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 int up, int and speed up with her boosting attack. We also have obviously things like Volcano Blade increasing the crit damage of Aldo. And then um, you know you can set up your mental focus using uh, Explosion followed by Inferno for all the rest of the attacks. And the only thing I will say about this one is I hate Bosasu Prior. Uh, I had to redo this a couple of times because at each HP stopper, and he has a couple of them here, he will do that kind of black hole attack, which does randomly um, uh, apply stone status to your one or more of your units. Um, again, Moon Realm is the way to go. However, if you have a unit with Pizzica, just use Pizzica with a stone resistance badge in Oratorial, and that will remove the all statuses because you can clear that with that or you can use a healer that has a status removal in this case i at the very end i didn't want to do all the damage with the uh, explosion i want to make sure i have a last attack of inferno to kind of make sure that the mental focus lasts all the way through remember that mental focus only lasts for three turns and so i do want to make sure i have um the uh move done by garyu uh, active so that I don't have to worry about it over and over again. And I do apologize ahead of time if I confuse Explosion and Inferno. Um, they all sound the same, to be honest. And when I'm doing the video, I sometimes say one in you know, interchange with the other. So what I really mean is the mental focus one would obviously be Explosion. Um, and then the Inferno is uh, the DPS move. And the funny thing is that the Inferno looks more like an Explosion because it's just like... You know, like multiple attacks everywhere. But that, anyways, I digress. So in EX4, you are facing the toughest bosses of each of the earlier three stages. And so, um, you know, you will have to have some mitigation. Um, I would highly recommend physical type shields and so on and so forth. Uh, if you can have power uh, down, in this case, against the Kar Curry, um, you know, minions, then you also need int down against other ones that attack with wind type magic attacks and so you are facing all the tougher bosses from each of the earlier ex stages so definitely have dual debuffs if not better um i am relying only on um occasional power and into down grass and note that at the hp stopper it actually removed the debuffs from itself so you can actually take significant damage if you don't have any shields up um however i mean we're really not too worried we can even use origin force if necessary with aldo having uh max Light Aldo and Max Shadow Garyu really helps a lot because remember that once you have over 200 Light or Shadow uh, with either free or gacha units, you can now equip not only two badges and four moves, you can also equip four grass slots which can really bring your DPS up towards the uh, high heavens as you blast your way and finish off each of these stages. So I do apologize if um, you don't have uh, nearly uh, high enough light or shadow. You will have uh, you know, potentially much less damage than I do. Uh, and in which case, you can definitely use your choice of uh, DPS units or gacha units. So unfortunately, it does have HP stoppers. All of these uh, bosses do have HP stoppers. However, I would say the overall difficulty of this particular wave of EX for the week to fire doesn't seem nearly as difficult as as some of the earlier or mid stages of the um, previous battle simulator stages. Like I, I remember struggling against the some of the um, the one that was weak to water was m the most ridiculous one actually. But other than that, the most more recent iterations of ba battle simulator has been a lot more friendly um, to us, especially since you don't have to pull out your hair each and every time. I mean, of course, you still have to watch out for the HP stoppers, watch out for things like sleep effects there and this is rng dependent um otherwise but even so with shields up and a fire zone shielding which reduces wind type damage by 50 percent you can actually use burning shield as well which don't forget that garyu has that which will reduce incoming wind damage by an additional 50 percent and with int debuffs against sylph the battle is essentially over and of course 
not only that you have to finish it without dying, you do have to clear it within 20 turns. Absolutely no problem. Um, and you do have to have four or less units. Keep in mind that Aquaji still counts as a unit, even though I never brought him up from the back to the front. Uh, remember that his role is in the back to help heal the party and uh, otherwise just chill. So you can chill for the whole fight. He wouldn't even have enough turns to convert into his Ragnarok form, right? You only have 20 turns. And so he is not too useful except for full turn heals every turn. And the same setup goes for all of the other EX fights. Um, yeah, this worked for everything. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.